There's antimony, arsenic, and aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and acetate, and radium, and gold, and protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's homium, and helium, and hafnium, and erbium, and phosphorus, and francium, and fluorine, and terbium, and manganese, and mercury, and molybdenum, and magnesium, dysprosium, and scandium, and cerium, and cesium. There's lead, praseodymium, and platinum, plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, and tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium, and calcium, and chromium, and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelavium, einsteinium, nobelium, <laughs> and argon, krypton, neon, radon, xenon, zinc, and rhodium, chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and rhodium. These are the elements they know about at Harvard, but those who studied chemistry, St. Petersburg's university, will all unanimously agree, <laughs> that others will study. My apologies to Gilbert and Sullivan and Tom Winner.